Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100. Uh, hopefully the randomizer has decided to kick in. Uh, after last episode, it was kind of weird that uh, it didn't. Um, so here we're going to be running a cert hammer uh, with the Snowdrift Sharor uh, just to kind of um, put out uh, some crush ice on these folks uh, where we can get it. Um, so let's see what uh, what's in store for us. Uh, so this guy's normal. Um, that's, that's okay. I don't mind... Uh, but I kind of mind. <laughs> um, so we'll see uh, if we have the ability here to uh, get the randomizer going. Um, I don't know why it's it's not uh, it's not doing anything at the moment. Okay, let's go for just a charge drain for for why not, um, and uh, just bash this guy down. Yeah. Anyways, um, I don't I don't understand why it's not doing it anymore. Uh, it's kind of weird, like, these guys are here, this isn't supposed to happen. Uh, that guy over there is gone, the, ex the explodey guy. Um, so maybe, um, maybe we'll get, uh, maybe we'll get something here because the exploding guy is gone. Um, uh, one of the guys is missing down there. This guy's normal. Uh, so something's definitely randomized, uh, it's just, uh, not, um, not very obvious at the moment what is, uh, getting traded. At least there is a, uh, missile up at, uh, up at the next area here that we can, uh, hopefully go for. Yeah, same creatures. Everybody looks normal. Um, well, anyways, um... Okay. And this is fun to uh, completely annihilate these guys uh, easily and quickly. Charge boosters are always great to have. You can't ever have too many of those uh, unless the game doesn't want you to have them. Then you can have too many. Uh, so let's rest at this missile. Uh, see if it will randomize here. Um, no, no random haze. Um, I mean, it's completely... It's all on. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, hmm. But uh, it, it works in uh, other parts of the game. Uh, maybe the glitch we had, uh, like, I don't know, a couple days ago. Um, oh, there's uh, some random haze. So at least one enemy, it looks like, got randomized. We can't go through um, I don't know which one. Uh, that's kind of odd. But, okay. Wow. This guy uh, definitely wanted to kill me in a big way. So I'm a little disappointed that uh, we're not getting any kind of randomizing uh, activity here. Uh, because we are literally just um, running the base game. Or, you know, I mean, it's still part of the run. But, like I said, this one wouldn't be a sanctioned run. Uh, just because of the fact that, uh, you know... We have all this uh, crazy going on here. Um, and so it'll at least be a run that we that we go through and everything. But uh, it won't be uh, anything that we um, count on to show off any kind of uh, gifts or anything like that. Um, but at least you can uh, get, a, get an appreciation here for uh, what we're doing. Okay, and let's uh, load up on everything here. Um, before we get up the hill, uh, because it's uh, in our best interest to uh, have as much uh, ready and available here uh, for this guy, just to uh, make sure that he um, doesn't give us too much problem uh, before we head over uh, to these fellas. Yeah, we made it up, and knock that guy off first. Let's charge this guy down, or not. I can't believe we didn't uh, actually kill him. That was uh, very interesting. It was the uh, ice resistance there that did us in on that fella. But that's okay. And let's go ahead and heal. And uh, we'll go for... Whoops. No, I don't want to go back. I want to go for a gift accelerator. 
and a gift extension. There we go. Now we should be able to um, get across the sand and uh, go for this guy. There we go. Whoops. Okay, that guy might kill Eva actually. There we go. I just wish I could uh, go for um, uh, a, uh, an attack on this guy, uh, or a backstab I mean. But I guess we'll take uh, just a beat down um, instead. <laughs> And now, uh, as we go across the uh, sand, we lose all of our I-Core. Oh, there we go. That's at least something that we can uh, count on there. That's very nice. And we'll go this way, uh, so we can go for a couple backstabs here, if we can. There we go. It's always good to uh, pick up free I-Core uh, whenever you can. Especially if it's uh, as simple as this. Uh, for these two guys here, and then uh, a couple other uh, folks on our way. But um, it should be interesting for the uh, successor fight, uh, because uh, Crush is uh, one of her big uh, resistances. Um, oh, this guy... The explodey guys all got randomized out. Um, hmm. That's different. I don't know why it's just the explodey guys. Uh, they all have disappeared. Um, uh, why? I don't know. But I'll take it. Um, thanks, Eva. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, okay, that guy's going to go over there. So we can get these uh, slimes one by one. There we go. And then this one. There we go. And then we can... Uh, head over here so this guy uh, will see us and we can at least fight on this little patch of uh, concrete here. Come on. There we go. Okay. I should have uh, tried to parry at least one of those, but uh, that's okay. Now the uh, nice thing is that he uh, is uh, he does have a uh, stagger built into um, crush damage here. So we can uh, knock him around uh, pretty easily with our hammer, so that's kind of nice. I guess we'll just uh, use all our I-Core when we get it. Um, but uh, kind of strange that uh, we we have no uh, randomizing happening um, for whatever reason. Very strange, very weird, because uh, we should be randomizing, but um, not, uh, not my choice, I guess, um, even though I'm pushing all the right buttons and doing all the right things and you even saw the 17,000 uh, random haze spawn into our uh, haze pool there, uh, for whatever reason, uh, it's not catching, and it's not, uh, oh, there's 500 haze, so something's, something's happening, um, just don't understand what and why, um, so, and like I said, again, it uh, it does randomize uh, in the other maps, um, just not here for whatever reason. Oh, there's 29,000 haze, so something else randomized, uh, which is cool. Um, okay. Um, we'll see how the Shurur does versus the um, successor of the throat. And it's probably pretty bad, um, as you can imagine. Um, all the same guys, all the same guys, everything the same. Okay. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> this might uh, be very long of just a fight with the successor, but uh, I guess it wouldn't really matter anyways, um, because it's no different than uh, what we would be doing anyways here with uh, lightning charge um, because we would be doing this anyways um, <laughs> to uh, we'd be doing this anyways to get back here and to uh, fight her and get past all the craziness in the, in the game and everything anyways so anyways um, it'll at least be good to uh, to um, I don't know try and uh, get through here as easily as we can okay um, for this area do I need 20% more stamina? 
Um, mm, yeah, we don't need this, so um, probably probably when we get focused, get ten I core. That would probably be the best for us right now. Um, all all this is good uh, for right now. Okay. Then we'll go for a little more Eva on Eva action here. That's always fun. Um, and uh, we'll see if it actually works out for us. Okay. Good. And uh, back to Dragon Lunge. Wherever it is. There we go. And this, and this, and Drain, and Shift Accelerator, and let's go. And hopefully uh, it's, it's a fairly uh relaxing fight but you never can tell uh with the successor of the throat because um she has uh an infinite array of one shots available to her so we should be in a pretty bad way here um but uh hopefully we can uh, make it work oh boy there's the hands ouch okay let's go ahead and heal even though it's uh not uh, our best interest there. There we go. Okay. Nice. Let's see what our charge drain does. Uh, not barely anything. Okay. Oh, nice stagger there, Eva. My goodness. She's got this, okay. Okay, and let's uh, go on in here for a uh, couple of hits. Okay, now we're going to be in a really bad way here. Okay, and uh, I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay, but Eva's not. So let's uh, dodge the hands, the hands of doom. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, and let's go ahead and heal. Okay, and heal again, because we're gonna die by, uh, yep, the blades here. <laughs> heal again. Let's heal again. Okay, come on. There we go. The hands are coming after me, and I'm leaking. Oh no. And I don't have any Icor, like, ever. Oh boy. There we go, and both of us are dead. <laughs> Somehow, uh, all her blades of sand were still coming, uh, were still coming from the edges, <laughs> even though she was in stagger. <sighs> Very unfortunate. Good okay, bye, Eva. Um, okay, well, oh, we we're getting some random haze there, fifty-two thousand, so we're getting more. Um, because we got like 17,000, then we got like 29,000, now we got 52,000. Um, so something's randomizing in the background. Like those explodey guys, I think, are the ones that, uh, are, are being, uh, randomized somehow. Eva and I look pretty good together there. Um, but very weird, uh, how it's, how it's, uh, working out there. Not exactly sure why, <laughs> but, uh, but okay. Either way, we'll uh, we'll make it work. Okay, and it doesn't look like we're getting focused very often. So let's go for uh, weapon drain rating up. So every time we hit her with our um, with our hammer, um, we get uh, a little bit more eye core every time. Okay, good. And uh, as we head on back up here. Uh, the, the real things to keep in mind are, um, are, uh, just don't get too close, but, uh, since we have a hammer, we gotta be, uh, right up on top of her, which is, uh, a real problem. Okay, very nice to have lightning charge, uh, makes this, uh, a much, 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 much faster, uh, run back. Okay, so, let's do this and this. And we'll go for uh, Ice Weapon at the beginning here. Because we can go for a couple other things here um, in the meantime. 
Okay. And uh, if we get uh, at least two Icor, we can go for a uh, charge drain. Okay. And there we go. We're dead. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and heal. Oh, I'm dead. That uh, that charge attack takes forever, so we're not going to do that anymore. Oh no. Um, now I'm leaking. Oh nice. Okay, let's uh, heal a bunch of times here because uh, we're playing stupidly. There we go. And we're going to be leaking forever now. Um, which is really, really unfortunate. Oh man. I didn't think that was uh, going to hit us. Okay. And I'm dead. Eva, please. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're just standing there. Oh, uh, I don't know what she was doing. Okay, um, let's pick up Eo. Uh, so we have a, a way to get rid of... Uh, to get rid of um, uh, our uh, leaking problem here. And let's go for her white outfit, because... I think the white outfit is the uh, is the best one here um, that uh, that she has available. Um, okay, so oh, we got seventy five thousand now. Um, so it is going up. So maybe each enemy is starting to slowly catch up to uh, being randomized. I'm not exactly sure how that's uh, working out, but um, sure, we'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, Eo. Uh, so this successor of the throat is always a big sticking point, um, but you can uh, you can get rid of her in two shots with the Libertador uh, setup, and um, if you're uh, struggling with that, if you have a uh, uh, a co-op partner, you can uh, one shot her with the bayonet, uh, which is very very nice. Otherwise, there's no possible way to uh, one shot her. Which is really, really unfortunate, but uh, she just has too much, uh, too much health. Okay. All right. So our haze is over there on the left. Good, and uh, we can uh, go ahead and get ourselves. Uh, start it up here, and we'll just kind of do a couple of those uh, gifts later on, since we should have uh, pretty fast uh, gifts um, to be casted. Okay, let's head on over here. Okay. Okay, now stay close. And you can go for some uh, free hits there. Okay. And let's go for ice. And let's go for a charge. Okay. And stay close. Let our stamina recharge. Okay. Now she's uh, already uh, into like a staggered uh, state there, getting close uh, again. That's very nice. There we go. Nice. Okay. And let's go for a drain activator so we can get some uh, extra I cord here before uh, we get into uh, getting killed here at this point. Alright, where are the tornadoes? Okay, we are good. Yo didn't die, that's very nice. Okay. There we go. And we took the hit anyways. That's uh, not a problem. And uh, maybe we can get her into a a stagger state here. Oh, nope. Eo, please. Thank you. Okay. So I think we, we stopped her there for a second. We're dead. <laughs> I saw the, uh, the blades coming in. That was a really good, um, a really good first run there to, uh, stage two to her, uh, second phase. Um, and uh, pretty pretty flawless until uh, getting exploded. Um, <laughs> uh, but see, it definitely does help to have EO around um, to uh, get rid of uh, the leaking problem. All right, and 
Oh, let's see if we can get through here. And if not, uh, we'll just have to uh, try and go for um, go for a bayonet kill and uh, destroy her. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever. But the Snowdrift Shiror is a, is a pretty good hammer. Um, uh, and what it lacks in... Uh, and everything is uh, is made up for in uh, drain rating and the ice uh, buff that it gets, and also that it's a very 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 light hammer, um, considering. Okay, so uh, again, you know, just doing this. Um, don't go off the edge. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Stupid slimes. I, w I don't understand why that missile right there couldn't be the uh, couldn't be the uh, run back missile. Whoops, got a little crazy there. Okay, and now we have to do the slow run. But uh, you can see how much time this thing saves um, getting back up here uh, for the most ridiculous uh, run back in the entire game. But uh, anyways, uh, we'll uh, go ahead and get ourselves going. We'll try uh, one more and then we'll come in and we'll shoot her and uh, be done with it. Okay. Okay, she's gonna spin. That's fine. Okay, good. And uh, we can do this uh, right now. Whoa! Uh, that was a wild uh, kill there. Um, I did not expect her to uh, do any of that. I'm dead. Wow, that's fun. Um, <laughs> having a very, very slow weapon is uh, really, really bad uh, for her. Anyways. Since this is the randomizer run, um, again, I don't understand why um, it doesn't uh, doesn't work out too well here against her, but uh, sure, whatever. Um, yeah, this is all fine. Uh, charge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now we probably should go for uh, Harmonia, uh, just because uh, we can get a lot more um, utility out of this. Um, but, uh, yeah, the new strategy is, you know, same old, same old. Anyways, uh, we'll, uh, we'll pick up, uh, we'll pick, we'll pick this up and, uh, move on from here. Mm, we'll go for the drain, why not? Okay. And bring out our big boy Jack. Uh, switch to Jack. Okay. And uh, it's okay that we don't have any extra i -Corp. We'll have 12, or, or we'll have 10 after, and we'll Let's use this. And we can use uh, our pure blood and get a couple more shots, and she should go down. Um, so anyways, that's the idea. Um, and uh, if we need to, we can uh, alter some things here a little bit, but this will be, uh, be the most... Oh, I don't understand why that uh, doesn't uh, pick up on the uh, cancel there, but whatever. We've got enough to uh, get up there, so it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I guess since we're going to just be uh, relying on uh, shooting her over and over, we can get rid of Cognitive Zeal. So that way, uh, we don't have to use uh, anything else. Um, to, uh, to get i back. We can use a pure blood if we want or whatever, but uh, not really necessary. Okay. And it'll be faster anyways uh, to have access to sacrificial blood uh, kind of on the go there. Alright, so anyways, uh, the Crown of Sand, again, I don't understand why this didn't uh, randomize out here. Uh, maybe the randomizer, I broke it or something. Um, no, Jack. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure why it's not uh, why it's not running here. But uh, anyways, um, we'll uh, we'll make it work. 
Okay. There we go. Good. Okay. And, uh, good. And we'll use one of these. One of these. And this. And this. And, uh, let's go. Let's pick up our haze. Oh, come on. He was in uh, damage reduction. That's really unfortunate. Um, yeah, this is gonna be uh, bad here. Let's go ahead and heal our pure blood up. Oh, we got into the uh, storm there. That's really unfortunate that we were in the uh, uh, damage reduction phase and there's final journey. <laughs> uh, unbelievable that she was still in the fi in the uh, damage reduction phase there. Her uh, her damage reduction phase is very 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 long, um, and uh, it's really difficult to. Uh, wait for her to be moving because as soon as she starts moving uh, she goes into an attack and so uh, you you uh, lose a lot of time the the time window there is very very small from the time she starts moving to the time she starts an attack and typically her attacks are very very long distance um, kind of reach out uh, at a distance and get you um, so very very unfortunate there that uh, we hit her during the damage reduction phase. Now, the damage reduction phases are about 90% uh, reduction, um, so you can kind of take whatever value you got, multiply or um, divide by 0.1, and uh, that's how much uh, damage you're uh, capable of. So you can use the damage reduction to actually find um, damage uh, caps and damage ceilings on uh, move sets and everything uh, to see exactly how much damage you're doing, just based on uh, knowing that it's a 90% uh, reduction in uh, damage and so uh, if we were doing, I don't know what that number was up there, but if we were doing that value uh, at 90 at 10% the full value, um, so it would be the full value times 0.1 equals the damage you see on, on, the, um, on the top of the screen there. So if you take the damage on the top of the screen divided by 0.1 then you get uh, the, total, the total amount of damage that you uh, can can get out of uh, of your uh, of your gifts. So kind of neat that you can use the damage reduction uh, to see uh, above the nine 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 ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine uh, damage cap. Kind of cool that way. Okay, let's uh, hopefully um, get this the right way now. Okay, and we'll use one of these, and a charge, and uh, this, okay, and uh, let's wait for that damage reduction to end, hopefully, start moving please, there she goes, so you can see there that uh, we can't, uh, if I would have been faster, we could have got her in uh, two phases, or one, one phase there, but uh, I didn't, and so... Yeah, it's uh, it's two shots, um, one for uh, one for radiant barrel, and if you have twelve I core going in, you can do radiant barrel and then follow a follow up shot, and she dies very very quickly. So, um, but you need to get a backstab on the way, or use a um, I core blend. I don't typically think about using I core blends because you need so many um, uh, so many uh, gifts. Uh, for your friends that uh, in order to get uh, so many um, to have like an unlimited stock of them because you you could use one like every time you you spawn in and it would be a huge help but it's a huge amount of uh, effort to get a lot of those Thank you. 
and if I was going to be spending gifts on our on our revenant friends back at uh, home base, I would rather get uh, transforms uh, transform chromes from them or uh, their weapons um, because those are worth more than the icor blends. Um, because uh, in order to get one of every weapon, one transform of every weapon and every blood veil, um, we need uh, you know 13 libertadors to have one of every kind and every flavor, which is uh, let me see, here's my calculator. Always have it handy. Uh, so 13 times 50. So we need 650 um, points, trading points, to get all of her, um, all of her, all of uh, Eva's uh, bayonets. So, and we need to do that for Jack and Louie and Yakumo mm, and Eva and Eo and Mia. So times six. So we need uh, 3,900 trading point possibles. Um, <laughs> so it's uh, and if we divide by five, that's 780 rare uh, or uh, rare materials that we're gonna need to uh, farm up um, to uh, <laughs> to give to our friends. So yeah, we have a long ways to go before we get to that point. But and that's not even counting the chromes. That's just for the weapons. Um, so yeah, we've we've got a long way to go. Um, but uh, anyways, that's been this crown of sand, and again, apologies for I don't know what the randomizer is doing here, but uh, hopefully it, it uh, gets back to working um, in, these, uh, in these different areas, and I can't even click on it right now. But uh, anyways, uh, that's been the crown of sand, and uh, kind of a weird whatever, and we'll see you in the next one.